But listen, many can't even leave their own households. We must take ownership of our own health for our kids' education, ownership of what it means to be a man and what it means to be a woman. Um, so I'm from Manchester and uh, we had a large anti-lockdown protest, um, nearly 4,000 people, obviously the media didn't cover it, but they did actually go to the police station in, in Manchester and they actually served the police a notice, some kind of thing, so if you want to look online you can have a look like, uh, but unfortunately there was a small group of us and the police did attack a young man, he was only 25 and they broke his rib cage. so he's Iranian, 25 year old and uh, he's now got broken rib cage. So this is wrong, you know, people are angry. Why is the police injuring young people when they were socially distancing? It was just outside. And uh, now they're saying we can't protest outside. So it's absolutely disgusting. And we need to actually stand up to this, you know, fascism. Because it is fascism, isn't it? So, and they're saying it's uh, about a virus. But really, is it about a virus? I mean, um, you know, it turns out that the swabs are actually laced with cancer. Uh, toxic substances on the test swabs uh, if you do more research also the AstraZeneca vaccine was taken off the market and then all of a sudden came back into the market so if alarm bells don't ring then I don't know when the alarm bells will ring <laughs> so yeah thank you Right to march through the streets on a political freedom protest. <laughs> 